Trash guy saves the day. Oh, yes, he does. This guy was apparently printing counterfeit money Mm -hmm. and not doing it very well either. He had actually printed a couple like test runs to make sure that the ink was good, I guess. Kind of like you have to do with the printer. You know, you have to recalibrate the printer. So he did that and he printed it out. um, And then he threw out this money Mm -hmm. that looked like real money. Right. And uh, the garbage guy, the trash guy came over. Yep, that guy. He saw in the trash there was a bunch of money, and he said, who yeah. is throwing out money? And then he noticed it was printed on just regular paper. Uh, also, it was on the back of a uh, Alabama pardons and paroles receipt issued to this guy. Um, so he was then caught and sentenced um, to, with a $200,000 bond, which I'm assuming he'll have to pay with real money, not the counterfeit bills. Trash guy saves the day. Yes, he does. All right, does. then there's this guy. Oh, yeah. He had years of sinus infections uh-huh. and, and went to the doctor and they said, wait, well, you realize you got something stuck up in your nose? Yeah, still. he's like, yeah, it's been yeah. years and I got this terrible sinus pain. He this said, is, okay, we'll run a CT this scan. This is so nasty. Uh, revealed a calcium deposit in his navel, nasal cavity with yeah. a balloon yeah. filled with a decaying plant matter. Uh-huh. Now, if you're wondering what that decaying pla- plant matter was. 18-year-old devil's lettuce. It was 18 years old devil's Devil's lettuce. Apparently, this guy had done some time in jail 18 uh, years ago when his then girlfriend smuggled a balloon filled with cannabis uh, in during the visit. Then he inserted that balloon into his nose so far that he wouldn't be detected as he passed through, you know, the uh, the security guards, the bodyguards. Yeah, and apparently, he yeah. did a pretty good job. Although, only problem is he thought that he had swallowed it and, and it, then later passed it. Right. Only he had not. It was, it was stuck still, in his nose for 18 oh, years. Gosh. That's a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Probably not worth smoking at that point. So I guess it has a shelf life. It definitely does. Okay.